In this video, I'll be taking free kicks with the 10 best free kick takers in FC24 to find the set piece GOAT. The players will get 5 free kicks each, earning points every time they score, and whoever has the most points at the end of the video is the winner. If a player gets 0 points, I will have to discard them, which could get expensive. If you want cheap and safe FC coins so you can buy crazy players in Ultimate Team, go to my coin sponsor, MMOEXP.com, choose your platform and the amount of coins you want, and apply the coupon code DAVS at checkout, for 5% off. So we are starting with James Wall Prowse, the lowest rated card in this list, but with the dead ball playstyle and 99 free kick accuracy, I have high hopes for him. To start, I will take three free kicks, a standard curler, which is worth one point, a Trevella free kick, which is worth two points, and a knockable free kick, which is worth three points. So obviously we have to score a curler first with James Wall Prowse, which should be pretty easy, I think. Just gonna do this, two and a half bars, Oh, we hit the crossbar. That's an awful start. Now it's time for the Travella, which I'm a little less confident about. Let's go for that. A little less power this time. There we go. Top corner. That's what more what I expected from James Will Prowse. That's two points on the board for him. And now we have the knuckleball free kick for three points here. We're going to aim the goalkeeper's side. Power it as hard as we can. What a goal! Three points, that's five already, with two more free kicks still to go. The final two free kicks are worth two points each. I can do anything but the taken from a little further out. So here we go with the Wall Prowse long shot. I'm gonna just try and knock a ball it into the far corner for my first one. Try and beat the keeper again. Got a lot of power on it. Oh my god, what a goal! I think that may already be the best free kick of the video and if there is a tie at the end the win will be decided by whoever scored the better free kick so that goal could be huge. So Wolf Prowse is already on 7 points if I score this one it's going to be on 9 which is absolutely insane for my first player. I'm going to try Travella this time over that player's shoulder. It's saved. Ah, oh, seven points though. That is definitely respectable from James Wall Prowse. And it does put him, of course, top of the leaderboard for now. So the second free kick taker is Komen, the only centre back on this list. He has dead ball plus, 96 free kick accuracy, and 97 shot power. So hopefully I can score some rockets. So we have the curler first. Hopefully I can actually score it this time. And we have dead ball plus, which makes it, I think, a lot easier. So let's see how this goes. We hit the wall. Why do I keep failing at the easiest one? Now we have the Travella. Again, I'm not as comfortable with the Travella, but apparently I'm better than I am with the Curler. Never mind, I'm just terrible at free kicks, I guess. Can we get our first points on the board? Gonna try a knockable free kick this time, exactly the same as Wall Prowse. Okay, that's more like it. Three points on the board for Komen. Now we move into the long range shots and I'm just gonna go for a knuckleball free kick because apparently that's what Komen's best at. Oh, just wide, only three points. That's terrible from Komen. Can I redeem myself and get him to five points? Another knuckleball free kick. That's more like it. Goalkeeper was absolutely terrible there, but Komen ends with five points. He scored some crazy knuckleball free kicks in the end, but sadly Komen can't knock Wolf Prowse off the top spot, so Wolf Prowse is still number one. Hadji is up next, who scored a ridiculous amount of free kicks in his career. His birthday card has dead ball plus, and he has 97 free kick accuracy. So can Hadji break my curse of not being able to score the easiest free kick? Hopefully this works. I am so washed. And things just got worse as I failed to score both the Travella free kick and the knuckleball free kick. And remember, if I get zero points, I have to discard the player. And this had you cost me 450k. I have two long range free kicks left to try and score one goal so I don't have to discard this card. I'm gonna go for a Travella. Thank God. What a goal, by the way. But thank God. We got points on the board with Hadji, but then after missing the final free kick, Hadji ended up with just two points, 
rock bottom of the leaderboard so far. Next up is Zola who I think could be a dark horse in this competition. Deadball plus and 99 free kick accuracy, could he knock Wolf Prowse off of the top spot? So can a player with 99 free kick accuracy and Deadball plus finally beat my curse of not being able to score the easiest free kick in the game? No he can't, I'm, what is wrong with me? But surely he can score a Traveller. More power this time. There we go. Two points on the board for Zola. Can he score the knuckleball free kick? Easy. If Zola can score the two long shot free kicks, he will be top of the leaderboard on nine points. So the Traveller he took from short range was his best free kick, so I'm going to try that again from further out. Will he score it? No, he won't. Oh. But if he gets the next one, he can draw with Ward Prowse. This has to be a knockable free kick that was better than Ward Prowse's. We're going for this. He hit the crossbar. Five points for Zola. Now we move on to Zico, who cost me 3 million coins. 99 free kick accuracy, 96 curve, and 94 shot power. We're really getting into the set piece demons now. Surely I score this stupid free kick goal with Zico. I'm not even going to think about it too much. Just going to do that. Oh my god, finally. I thought I was going to hit the crossbar swing, but finally we've actually scored it. Now the Travella free kick. Okay, Zico could actually be the one who wins this. Now it's time for the knuckleball with Zico, which has been the easiest one for me to score so far. Why would I say that? Okay, long range now. If I score both of these, I can be equal to Wolf Prowse. Oh, that was beautiful, but I don't think it's better than Wolf Prowse's knuckleball. So again, we're going to have to try and score a knuckleball with the next one. We have to score an absolute screamer. We're going to go right for that top corner. I'll tell you what. I don't know which was better. That's going to be a headache at the end if 7 ends up being the most points. Zico is now joint top with Ward Prowse. If none of the remaining players beat 7, it will come down to which of the knuckleballs was better. But I have some free kick legends coming up, so I don't think 7 will be the record for much longer. The first of these free kick legends is Mateus. He is essentially a human cannon with 98 shot power and with the power shot plus playstyle. But with the lowest free kick accuracy out of all the players and just 78 curve, I have no idea how this is gonna go. Well, it started amazingly. I scored the curler, the traveller, and the knuckleball, the best start we've seen so far. Now it was time for the long shots. Now the long shots, and I really don't feel like Mateus is gonna have an issue here. It's all about power. I just think he's gonna score both of these. I'm just gonna knuckleball them both see what happens but this could be a 10 never mind I, what was I even talking about this is to take the lead though he'll be on eight points if he scores this let's see what happens it's saved Mateus ends on six points and I feel like I should have done so much better there number seven is Perlo his free kick stats are perfect he cost me four million coins so please drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video because it really really helps me out turns out the four million coins was a huge waste of money it started very promising scoring a perfect curling free kick and then he missed both the Traveller and the knuckleball and then also miss both long shots. Putting the most expensive player so far rock bottom of the leaderboard. The final three players are arguably the best free kick takers of all time. We're gonna start with David Beckham who has almost perfect free kick stats except for shot power which is just 88. Here we go, David Beckham with the longest run up in history. Great start, very solid start. Can he curl a Travella though, into the corner? Of course he can. But can he score a knuckleball? Obviously he's known for his curl free kicks, not his powerful ones. Let's see what he can do. No problem at all. What a start from David Beckham. This is the part I'm worried about though, because he only has 88 shot power. Obviously we're gonna try and bend it like Beckham from distance. Can he score? 
I shouldn't have been worried. He has topped the leaderboard. That is eight points for David Beckham so far. If he scores the last one, he's got all 10 points. Here we go, the final free kick with David Beckham. If he scores this, he will top the leaderboard. We're gonna do the same again, is what he's known for. He's scored it. Perfect score. The final two will have to score all their free kicks and score one better than a classic David Beckham free kick. And if there is one player that could do that, it's Roberto Carlos. He has 99 in every stat needed for free kicks and dead ball plus. This card was literally made for free kicks. So can Roberto Carlos match Beckham and get 10 points? Let's see. It's a great start. Now we move on to the free kick that was basically invented by Carlos. The Travella free kick is definitely going in. There's no doubt about it. There we go. And now the knuckleball free kick, and with Carlos' 99 shot power, I have no doubt that this is going to go straight in the top right corner. There we go. This card is broken. If Carlos can score both of these final two free kicks, he will go level on points with David Beckham. I'm going to go for a Roberto Carlos Travella. He's so good. He's actually a cheat code when it comes to free kicks. That was actually just the perfect free kick. There was no stopping that. For Carlos's final free kick, I'm going to try and secure that top spot with a perfect knuckleball. Can we do it? Of course we can. That was, that was so perfect. I think that puts Carlos above David Beckham right now for me. 10 points. Both of them got 10 points because they're both goaded at free kicks, but I think that goal does cement Carlos at the number one spot. Team of the Year Messi is the final player. Both the highest rated and most expensive player on the entire list at 7 million coins. It's all down to him to knock Carlos off the top spot. So here we go. Can Messi do it? No, he can't. I've just... That curler free kick is gonna haunt me. He went on to score the Travella and the Knuckleball and then missed both long shots. Scoring him five points and cementing Roberto Carlos as the free kick goat, which isn't really a surprise, to be honest. If you enjoyed this video, check out the videos on the screen. I've been Davs and goodbye.